Thanks. Hooray. We're here. We hey, did. we're back. We did it. Hold on. I have to mute myself because I don't want to listen to myself talk. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, you know, we all watch the intro video before before Always. the stream begins. Hi, everybody. We're back after an unexpected break. Uh, but we were all just like, you know, I don't really want to play D D. No, that's not how it was. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, we, none of us were like that. But uh, it gave us an opportunity to be wonderful and get partnered. You know, that whole thing. Welcome to uh, our first partnered episode of Rivals of Waterdeep. Yeah. This is episode seven, right? Yeah. Yes. 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 Fantastic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if it's not, um, we're in trouble. Mm-hmm. Right. Because uh, then we missed a whole episode of stuff that I was supposed to do and has not gotten done. Y'all are <laughs> way behind. Um, but it's uh, it's Sunday. It's fun day. It's Rivals Day. And we're all here. We missed you all so much. Uh, thank you for sticking with us and thank you for supporting us as we headed on to partner and can't wait to see all just to show you all the fun stuff that we've got for you. But before we do that, let's introduce ourselves because I don't know, maybe after 12 seasons, you don't know who we are. Uh, so let's start with Tanya. I keep coming back. I'm just stealing my bit from Motherlands at this point. I, mean, I keep coming back for some reason. Uh, hi, I'm Tanya. I play Sleesa Storio. Your paladin ranger, both Sleesa's pronouns and mine are she, her. Excellent. Uh, hey, uh, this is Sharif. Oh, this is Sharif. I am Sharif. Uh, he, him, playing Shaka, Tiefling, Celest- Celestia Warlock, also he, him. Fantastic. Uh, this is where we would hear the dulcet tones of one Brian Gray playing Virgil, our sorcerer, but he is not here and we're sad about it. Mm. So, um, but he will be piloted by either myself or Eugenio. Um, and we promise that he will only do actual Virgil things. We promise. So, Eugenio, please tell Probably. us who you are. Hi, everybody. Uh, I just probably be mostly Virgil things, maybe some Kent encouragement. I'm okay, you know, I'm Dean Jezians, and I'm playing Kent, our tiefling rogue, uh, and apparently also a little bit Virgil, our Azamar sorcerer. And yeah. Sorry, it's Brian, good. in advance. I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Right, I'm not sorry either. I don't. I don't know what you thought you would expect by not being here. Uh-huh. <laughs> I hope he's watching. Right. I hope he's like on transit watching. <laughs> uh, and Masood, please tell us words about yourself. Hey everyone, I'm Masood. I play Gazak Nomrad, your favorite socialist businessman druid. Uh, both our pronouns are he him. Excellent. And uh, I am your dungeon master, extraordinarily awkward, Latia Jaquise, uh, pronouns she, her. And I also play Dahani, who is here, whose pronouns are also she, her. And then I also play uh, an amazing cast of NPC characters, most of whom are like bakers and like furniture makers. Um, yeah. So with all yeah. their, their own varied pronouns. Um, <laughs> hooray. Uh, before we actually get into the episode proper, though, we do have a couple of ads to read because people sponsor us and through their sponsorship, it is that which we do this. Um, so Sharif, if you would take it away. please. Yeah, so uh, let's start with D&D Beyond, y'all. We have all our character sheets online, uh, digitized. Um, so we can look up spells, look up monsters, manage encounters, uh, roll dice, all kind of dope stuff. Um, and you can check them out at dndbeyond.com. Um, and uh, this week, as in every week, we'll be giving away a legendary bundle. Um, so if you're in the chat, you're listening live, um, look out for the code and uh, t- type that thing in there and you will get uh, a chance to win. Uh, you, you must be present to win, so make sure that you stick around. Um, and if you're not listening live, uh, re- remember that we stream Sundays, um, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, um, at twitch.tv slash rivals of water deep. So you could check us out there. Not only support the show in the chat, but make sure that you get a chance to win that legendary bundle. Um, our dice trays and vaults are provided by Wormwood, uh, W Y R M Wood, uh, at wormwoodgaming.com. 
And if you use the code RIVALS, you can get free domestic shipping um, on your uh, products there. Um, we're also proud to be sponsored by Die Hard Dice. You can check them out at dieharddice.com and use the code RIVALS for 10% off of your order uh, there. Um, and if you want a whole bunch of other stuff, you want some cool mugs, shirts, masks, uh, all kind of dope stuff, make sure to check out Stormcrow at shop.stormcrow.com and use the code RIVALS for 15% off of cool things like this where you can caffeinate yourself and uh, be all good for your shows. Mm -hmm. um, and if you want to sound oh so silky smooth like the Rivals crew, check out Blue Microphones, crew.bluemic.com slash Rivals. Um, any purchases that you make there, we will get credit um, and, and you can get some nice sounding gear as well. Um, if you uh, want to extend your rival's love into video games, uh, check out Idle Champions by, by Codename Entertainment. Um, it's available on uh, you know anything that anything that can run a game basically. Um, Shaka Shaka Salise and Dahani are like uh, currently in the game. Um, we do have some more rivals coming out that we haven't been officially announced, but they will be coming. Um, and um, also also um. Brian's familiar disco is also in the game as well. So like, so and make sure to like support him, him as well. One. There's a new one. There's another rivals adjacent character, familiar character that's joining the game on Monday. Uh, I'll put it in the chat for those of you who are watching us live. Uh, but my character from a familiar quest, Pest, the uh, the Pest mascot from the Strixhaven book, uh, and my character in a in a stream show that's coming back tomorrow night. Now that Idle Champions presents is done, uh, is joining the game tomorrow, and I'm very excited. Yeah, yeah. I also so, don't want to neglect the fact that Fenris is also an idol champion. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Fenris yeah. was an idol champions before he made it into the show. So uh, <laughs> it's true. It's true. Yeah, He's an idol yeah. champions original. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I actually I actually have to put these down on the list because like now there's so many that you know, mm -hmm. can't forget. So, wow. so I think I put them down on the wow. other. Be sure uh, to get, ooh, I mean, so, hey, there I might be forget. even more coming this Friday, so we got to make sure we're on top of things. Oh, uh, there might be. There mm. might be. Uh, really? Uh, might be so, some additional socialism uh, coming to uh, <laughs> Idol Champions. Um, and if, <laughs> if, if you uh, type uh, exclamation point code in the chat, you get a free code for an Electrum chest to help uh, get you some gear um, to like to like a level up in Idol Champions. Um, and we're also partnered with Warriors of Waterdeep. And if you type exclamation point wild gem, you can get some free gems every week um, to, to help you level up in that game as well. So th thank you to all the folks that support us. Hooray. Uh, I think with all of the ads done, it is time for us to whoosh responsibly. Mm. And I'm going to be your prime example of this today because I am in a lot of pain. So. <laughs> So get your whooshing apparatuses ready and don't forget to whoosh to your comfort level, everybody. <laughs> That's very important today. <laughs> uh, previously on Rivals of Waterdeep. Whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's under is a better, it's a very gentle but affirming very whoosh. Very gentle right. whoosh. Yeah. Yeah. It's a gentle whoosh. That's yeah. right. Oh, look at all that support. Uh, thank all you. That Gotta support. go to chat. Yeah, exactly. there's a lot of stages to whooshing. Like, yeah, yeah, you yeah, can't go right, all right. out all the time, right? Yeah. You don't, exactly. You, you don't want to pull. So, them. so next Rivals Con, Dahani will lead a workshop on how to properly whoosh. Yes, yes. Ooh, I love that. Yes. Thank you. With all the levels to whooshing, because you know she's capable of flight. So that level, like that oh, level five yeah. whoosh, is it's like, like a flying whoosh. A diving it's legit. Whoosh. Yeah. <laughs> the flying. Ooh, I love that. Whoosh. Yes. Wow. All right, so it's been two weeks. Does anybody remember what happened? <laughs> no. I remember that I went to see Maggie uh, to uh, because I we wanted to spread we we wanted to have her spread the word um, to the other uh, people um, in the town that we were having this uh, uh, town hall to uh, you know to properly represent folks um and so we found out some other stuff about her we found out she's in a knitting group we found out that she was a baker we found um you know so i brought some cookies back um shaka was trying to push for some kind of uh maggie's cookies uh thing uh, <laughs> the we'll see she she was clearly resistant to she, she yeah. said, nah, 
now I'm retired, Joe. I'm not trying to be like your your supplier, you know. But hey, <laughs> that paycheck's right. You, you, you never know, you know. Um, yeah. So that's that's what I remember. Shaka's uh, kind of main side thing was was to uh, get Maggie on board. Um, we also. Uh, we had, it was, I think it was this last episode that we had the flyers made about the town hall. Mm-hmm. Um, That's correct. And took care of putting those up, uh, heading to, we went to the, it's, oh, what is it? It's the, it's, it was it's like a the church. non-denominational temple, yeah, well, right? It's the everybody. The, what is it? Yeah, The house of inspired hands. That's yes. it, inspired yes. hands. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we made terrible jokes that made Latia dislike all of us. Oh, no. Gosh. They only just made me love you more. <laughs> yeah, and, and like, didn't, didn't they give us some... hated all of you. Didn't they give us some deal, too? Like, it was something that they didn't normally do. Mm. No? Uh, no. I thought I think, it was... Oh, a, uh, it was something that I remember... Well, the, I, mean, well, the, it was, I obviously don't remember. <laughs> we gave them a... We gave them a uh, generous and unrelated donation and and... <laughs> Uh, because we were patrons of their establishment, they decided to help us with some things. Uh, but they wanted it real plain that this is not li- like they're not a service that one can come by all the time. They didn't mm-hmm. want to set that precedent. I think right. was what it was. They're not a they're not a water deep pinkos. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's worth noting. Not, and yet. not yet. Not yet. Wow. Not yet. Exactly. Wow. Not yet. <laughs> and uh, Kent went with me to uh, talk to Tear. Yeah, which was fascinating. I, I need to, I need, we should record a vignette with just Kent and Celise and talk about that. I just, I mean, his whole thing, the whole way back, his whole thing was like, you really just talk to him like that. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. I, I remember like Kent being so amazed at how casual it was. Yeah. It's like, it a formalized thing. Just right. like that, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like the voice of tear. Heard some abreaves in there. Yeah. It was wild. <laughs> the voice of tear again, helpfully provided by uh, by uh, Brian, because mm. I yes. don't have that. Base. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we learned today that Eugenio does. And yeah, yeah. tear is, as we all know, all about that base. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! I love you all so much. <laughs> You're so welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, you all basically put everything in place for the town hall to happen at Troll Skull Manor in a week's time from that point. However long we decide a week is. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Seven that's to right. ten days. <laughs> Seven to yeah. ten. Days. Yeah, I thought it was, isn't it a ten day week? Isn't that isn't, yes. isn't that canon? Yeah, no, yes, I, the, it is. They I thought also we yeah. mentioned. Weeks, though, I, I thought we mentioned. Which was right. funny. <laughs> No, I I think we mentioned that there was an NPC like Gregory that was trying to. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We did mention that. Yes, <laughs> he was trying to convince people that. So short. Got these week. ideas for these months, guys. <laughs> yeah. The rivals version of can of like our canon <laughs> Forgotten Realms is a wild place. Very absolutely. I love, this. I love it so much. Um, but yeah, we got everything uh, in place for the town hall to happen in seven to 10 business days. Um, Mm -hmm. (laughs) uh, We spoke to, I do, we we went to the house of inspired hands. I think we also went to, we went to the hall of justice. That was you and, uh, and Celise. uh, Yep. 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 Um, The house of inspired hands, I think is going to, we paid them a little extra to distribute the flyers. I think that was, that's what it was. was. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. They, they got their scribes to copy them. And then I think we, we paid that we, we, we donated a little extra for, that's right. For getting them delivered. Did we um, reach out to the Blue Air or Cobra to share and like, <laughs> like spread the message? I believe. Uh, yeah, I think that that's what the house is. The house of inspired uh, hands. That's, that's, that's really wondering. that's okay. So so above the clouds. Yeah, like you could have gotten the flyers and taken them to the Blue Air Coker, but you just donated for the house of inspired hands to do that themselves. Mm. So, <laughs> um, word is being spread. Uh, Shaka went to Maggie's house to get cookies and to also convince this old woman to tell literally everybody to come to the town hall. <laughs> right. All right. Sorry, guys. Uh, we went to Zephyr um, to talk about the initiatives that the rivals had for like for indie creators. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, rivals wow. indie creators initiative or the or the, oh, the RICI. 
Yeah, yeah. the dreamers. <laughs> so. We're going to Waterdeep streamers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and basically, it was just like a trip, uh, a, a sojourn around the North Ward preparing for this town hall. Mm-hmm. And then I had everybody roll percentiles to see how effective all of your work was. Right. But in right. this <laughs> in this seven to ten business days, uh, is there anything else that you may have wanted to do before we time jump to uh, the day of the town hall? Hmm. <clears throat> I think so. I I, I think Gazik's still trying to get his um like doing a little more research on the like dragon scale sort of Mm -hmm. like uh, influx and like using that mineral as a material for um the city. But um uh I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um I, think, I, I think, think other than that, that that's going to be. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I, I think there might be a little more shock. will be doing a little more tidying than usual. Try to mm-hmm. make the place look very nice. Mm-hmm. Um, so I imagine he'd be working with duo um, and Brian too, because he's still, uh, still has memories of uh, Rin and uh, working with him to clean up the, well, uh, ordering him to clean up the manor. So he's, Trying to, uh, you know, maybe do some extra, um, you know, some extra uh, cleaning. Uh, make sure things are good. Make making sure that 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 portal to Avernus is uh, safely, uh, safely uh, not accessible. That room and all other stuff. So yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so yeah, go ahead and make just a general, just a general kind of let's do just a dexterity check for for cleaning (laughs) that was perfect to me well the first dexterity check is me bringing up my uh character sheet that's the first fail that i just did uh but okay so just dex okay we've got a nine uh okay uh so a nine is not terrible given the fact that you also have been uh Joined for these these weeks by Leaf, who has been recording in progress, uh, who has been uh, you know assisting you all in the manner, <laughs> um, and so there actually isn't a whole lot to do when it comes to cleaning. Um, it's a, a whole, lot easier. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, but yeah, you you absolutely can. Uh, make sure that the uh, the Avernus portal is uh, off limits. Get some, you know, make sure that that door says like employees only or staff only or something like that. That'll work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, the the manor is probably cleaner than you've seen it in months, maybe years. Mm-hmm. Um, Tahani has been taking periodic trips down to the baby dragon's lair, which is slowly increasing. I think maybe the pile is probably about three times bigger than he is now than it is. Mm -hmm. Um, And she mentions to the dragon that uh, they are planning to have a whole lot of people in the, in the building. Maybe don't come up for a while until it gets quiet. Um, and the dragon's like, fine. Thank goodness for Tahani. <laughs> <laughs> She's the one who can speak to it. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, you know, actually, um, Kent. Yeah. Roll me and just a straight intelligence check, like just a D20. Yep. Do, 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 do. It's a three, which if we're going intelligence makes it a five. Nice. <laughs> we're rolling hot to start this. Yeah, yeah. it's a good right. start. Little digits. It's super hot. Kent is very uh, busy and not paying attention. Oh no, no. This was just like a flat. Oh. Like this was so this was not for you. I just wanted oh, you okay. to roll it. Right. <laughs> I I mean now I feel bad, but also it's no, that's okay. <laughs> it's still a five. Um <laughs> Um, I think the dragon has only been spending like 
the kind of hustle and bustle around like the energy around the the, the manor mm-hmm. has kind of kept the dragon down there for the most oh. part anyway um so he hasn't had a lot of opportunity to come up and learn more common words sure. especially well, because right. yeah I so dahani has when been he talks common I- <laughs> and Dahani's been down there just like talking to him in Draconic. So he unfortunately does not have any more common words to repeat back to Dahani at this time. Uh, but yeah, you all haven't, you know, Dahani informs you that the dragon is fine. You know, Great. you've been getting, I think you got one or two more deliveries from your mysterious mm. dragon food vendor uh, in, in this time frame as well. Um and they don't, they really don't think anything of it. They're bringing food to a manor that is part like tavern slash in. They just uh-huh. think that, that, oh, these guys get food deliveries now. Okay, cool. Great. Um, but it. yeah. Uh, and is there like, so Shaka is uh, cleaning. Kent is just being Kent. I, yeah. Actually, I Kent, think, what are you doing? I think Kent is going to, uh, Kent is going to take some time to, uh, get some more information about two things. We, Kent loves a bit of research. Um, so one is uh, about the history of the North Ward, just sort of in general, not like real, real specifics, but just sort of like, you know, we know it's got a lot of, a lot of nobility lives here, um, but, you know, are there other, other like instances of like uh, ward, ward events that might be like good celebrate, like good festivals to suddenly add to the calendar, things just celebrate the North Ward Four as we revitalize things. Um, yeah, go ahead and make, you can make a, yeah, make me a history check. Okay. And I would like to retcon one thing. The House of Inspired Please. Hands is the Temple of Gond. The All Deities House is the Holy Hands House, which Holy is still a hand-related hands. house. Yeah, there's a lot of hands. Okay. Mm-hmm. A lot of hands. So many hands. Um, so my check for the history of the ward was a 27. Fantastic. Um, you know that um, because the ward is situated so north, mm-hmm. it has a wonderful kind of like cliffside appearance to it. Mm. Um, like you, the the cliff watch, which is like the higher, the like basically right on the wall, is mm-hmm. where most of the. Um, there's a lot of fancy like taverns and inns and things like that here. Uh So up there. So like, that's where like the more affluent visitors to the ward would stay. Mm -hmm. Um, But there's also just like kind of like a public area where people can walk and just like view the countryside and things like that. And uh, you basically learn and become a bit more familiar with everything about the North ward in the water deep in Kyridion. Cool. Love that. Great. So you 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 have a really good idea of all of that stuff to kind of figure out how you might use that to the advantage of what yeah. the rivals are intending to do. Yeah, and what folks like say at this town hall. So once I've done, like I will probably spend most of the time on that because that's uh, pressing with the town hall coming up. Any additional time would just be, uh, and and this can can be an answer for later uh, since the town hall is looming. But I uh, Kent, I think also just wants to know, like Kent is very concerned about what happens when our little dragon gets bigger. So mm-hmm. I think he's looking into like, you know, any sort of history that Waterdeep has with like dragon care i don't know uh <laughs> water de- he, you know, he's cross-referencing water deep and dragons right right uh, <laughs> and just see what comes up but that could definitely be a, a thing that he has only just begun and can finish later um <laughs> um i think virgil for the most part kind of he might help you with that sure. because he thinks it's absolutely adorable when you get when your research brain activates and it is activated. Mm-hmm. So he he's basically the one who reminds you to like eat and stuff oh, like yeah. that. Yep, correct. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, I was out of town for a week and didn't have my partner to be like, you should have lunch. You should have breakfast. I ate one meal a day for like six days. <laughs> so what you're saying is Eugenio, what me or Sam has to text you. No, what? I am saying that I learned <laughs> from my mistakes. Anyway, D and D. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's some bleed over for sure. Uh-huh. 
Mm-hmm. Well, Virgil can text Kent. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Message spells. Uh, yeah, have you got it? Got it? Got it. Uh, uh, Kent, have you have you eaten today? Yeah. <laughs> um, of course I have. I'm not just shoving this fun sandwich into my mouth now. <clears throat> uh huh. I believe you. <laughs> we both know that's not true. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, anything uh, special for you, Celise, or uh, Gosrick? Ma- 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 <laughs> uh, you you could you could have finished that. That could have been Master Gosrick. We could have gotten there. Yeah. No, this no. is gonna be Masood Gosrick. Masood Gosrick. Uh, no, uh, Celise is uh, spend some time training with with Fenris, talking with uh, Kent a bit more about that visit to talk to Tyr. And without telling anyone, she pays another visit to the cast liner. Oh. To oh. just oh really... Knows, in, not to uh, tell us. I, she ain't telling y'all nothing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> she just wants to be, be 100% sure that that lesson stuck in. Okay. Uh, so yeah, on a, on a, you know, normal random day in, in the <laughs> 7 to 10 business days between preparation in town hall Celise takes a visit to the what's that the c ward sure uh, yeah this it's the c ward um to oh no i think it's the castle ward. it's one of those wards um to the castle lancer's house um the guard the guards recognize you and they they just they let you through like you know like they they kind of ask you know if you have any particular business but you know you're you they you get the impression maybe an insight check Oh boy. Please tell me I get advantage on insight. I don't think I do anymore. I do not. Wow. Sleece is not doing well. That's only a nine. It's only a nine. That's okay. Um they like they 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 look at you as if like they're not expecting you, but they know that like your companion is frequently seen here. It's not out of the ordinary for you to maybe begin being seen here as well. So they, you know, give you a hi and how do you do? And uh, they, you know, let you through and, you know, you're able to knock on the door. Sorry, I muted myself in two places. Good job, me. Um, <laughs> get us knock, peep my head in, and I cannot remember this cast liner's name to save my life. I'm so sorry. <laughs> His name is Hylock. So I just kind of come in. Okay. Uh, it's it's again. It is it is Walter Hava who opens that door and looks thrilled and jovially j- overjoyed to see you. And you know he says, "Oh, Celise, uh, we weren't expecting you today. What can we do for you?" I want to see Highlock. Oh well, that's that's what I assumed. But I was just wondering if there's anything else we could do for you. Highlock is in his study. Uh, if you'll just follow me and he like he bird walks to the to the study <laughs> I, I don't even know what that looks like but uh, it's funny in my head yeah um but yeah how like is in his study it looks like he's looking over some paperwork um and when both you and Walter walk in he looks up and he says oh Celise you see he looks a little bit nervous good uh, is there anything uh, I we weren't expecting you? What what can I do for you today? And does Walter stay? Yeah, he. I mean, like he ushers he ushers you in, and Walter just kind of like stays at the door. I just kind of like you know the you know in movies when somebody like walks behind the chair and puts their hands on someone's shoulder. <laughs> that kind of you're going to pay attention to me. Yeah, that 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 happens, and it you. It, they let it happen because Walter doesn't know if he can take you properly in a fight. And Hylock is uh, you is affected by your aura of intimidation. Uh, and if if Fenris is with me, he just he gets in the chair like a person and just stares at Hylock. Uh, yes, Fenris is absolutely with you because I want to see that happen. You know, like he he is well trained, and he scrambles up in the chair and puts two paws and just kind of stares at Hylot. Just like, I guess, like if he had finger, if he had opposable thumbs, he would do the thing. Yeah, 
Um, he can do. He can do with his paws. He goes. <laughs> oh my god. Um, like you know the town hall scene, right? Uh, yes, I I did hear something about that. Just want to be sure that you were crystal clear on our conversation last time. Uh, yes. Um, as I said, anything that I can do for you. I mean, I don't know that there's much that I can do. This feels a very North Ward thing, and I am not North Ward, but is there, is there anything that I can do for you in regards to that? Make sure that the temple where our folks who worshipped here are very well taken care of. Sir, 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 certainly. Yes. What was, uh, what did I, did I not explain that? N- no, it's not that you didn't explain it. It's that, uh, it's that Latia doesn't think that that temple is in the same ward, but that's just Latia's memory not being on point right now. That's okay. Cypher's not sure either. I'm, just, I'm running, I'm running with the intimidation. Got it. As far as it'll take you. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> but no, I love he, knowing that in this moment of these two, like locking horns, there is such confusion behind yeah. their eyes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, so we are yelling at each other. So is totally bluffing it. Cause she like in that moment of haze, she's just like, is it in the North ward? Oh. Is it in the North ward? <laughs> Right. Well, now I can't check my map because that makes me lose standing, right? <laughs> she, she, like, pat, she like surreptitiously pats her up like, okay, map's there. We'll read it on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> like when you get lost, you have to stop and check uh-huh. the map. Yeah. Um, it's like, and if he, if he voices any confusion, it's like, and I don't care where it is. You're a cast letter, aren't you? That's a very good job. Very good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, y- yes, I am. I am a castle enter. So correct. your so I your mean, reach it, extends all over Waterdeep, correct? That that is correct. It's not unknown for. I mean, it's there is no law that says that you are only supposed to worship the deities that exist in your own word in your own ward. If you support a deity, in yes, I you are correct. So just I, want to make sure that they want for nothing. Absolutely. Just roll a general charisma check for me. Like you, you can make it oh intimidation. God. You can make it intimidation if you want to, but this is just like general charisma. Okay. I'm just seeing which dice are gonna betray me today. No, um, no, no, no. They're all gonna be really good. Uh oh wait, I get a plus eight on intimidation or persuasion. So either way. Oh, that is a 25. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not even like, it's just the the sternness and sincerity of the wish that you have for him that is just like, absolutely. I I will add it to my list of of charitable donations. Hmm. Excellent. Is is there anything else that I can do for you? Do you, you need anything? No, just... And she does like the patting his shoulder one time before she leans back. Mm -hmm. Just making sure we understand each other is all. Uh, It was lovely to see you. You and your your hound. I'm sorry? You and your hound. You mean my dire wolf? Yes, you and your your dire wolf. And Fenris, he's like, And I don't even like motion for him to follow me. It's like, I, I, I actually like when he does that, he disrespects Fenris. I give him like a little pat on the cheek. Remember that it's a dire wolf. Absolutely. My apologies. And I just saunter out. Um, you, you leave, uh, Hylax says, have a, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I hope the town hall goes well. And Walt there, um, echoes those sentiments. Um, Celise, can you make me a sandwich? Oh, <laughs> what? I'll make you the sandwich. She doesn't, yeah, yeah. doesn't want to roll. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm, like, I'm like, the fact that you paused, I'm like, oh no. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. no. Wow. No, I was wow. just. 
<laughs> no, I was I was confused because in no world ever would I ask you to make me <laughs> no, 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 no. I have tinkerer's tools. Let me roll this. Let- <laughs> An edible yes. sandwich, guys. We're getting right. edible sandwich. Oh no, no! I also have an herbalism kit. We'll make this right. <laughs> what? What are we tinkering with? I'm- I spider sandwich. I, I spider, spider sandwich. sandwich. Yeah, I yeah, swear, yeah. this is just vitamin water in here. I don't know mm. what's wrong with us today. <laughs> we we took a, we took a break and we shouldn't have. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, um, things are broken. I'd like <sighs> you to make me make me a wisdom saving throw. Oh no. Oh, that's okay because I have a really high plus on my wisdom. Never mind. Also, we uh, can we use inspiration for saving throws to give ourselves advantage on that? You may. Because we, I'm just uh, reminding us, we got inspiration. We got, we should use it, all the mm-hmm. time, right? Um, that would be a twenty-one. Okay. Um, <clears throat> excellent. You um, there's a moment when you step out of the Castle Lanterns uh manor that you think to yourself um it's not very it's not very solice behavior no like that you're an like you're an intimidating person absolutely like you are ready to defend anybody that you care about for any reason like if you suspect but this is Hmm. maybe you went a little too far just, just a little bit, just, just a little. Does, does Fenris notice anything? Like because I've just stopped to basically ponder this in the street. <laughs> yeah. Um. Make me. Uh. Make me just a a straight wisdom check for for the dire wolf, or just like oh. a, a straight d a straight d twenty roll. I'll pull up a stat. Okay. I was like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> How's Fenris rolling better than me? He's got a fifteen. Ah. <laughs> it was all about. No. It, was, <clears throat> it was like sitting in that chair. It boosted him. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Literally. <laughs> um, Fenris, he like he stops and like he he waits for you. Like as soon as you stop, like he turns and he looks at you. Like you know that that quizzical pup t- uh, turn of the head that all adorable dogs do. Mm-hmm. Um, and he he stands there and he kind of like waits for you to kind of like recollect yourself but nothing seems out of the ordinary to him okay but i i'm having that kind of mm, you know like when you're when you're that person like in the bar and then when you leave you're like oh maybe i went a little too far a little too right. far mm. <laughs> she's pondering this mm-hmm. and uh you know, like with that thought in your head, like you you head back to Troll Skull if that's if that's your your wish. But you've <clears throat> you thought that that was maybe like maybe you did go a little too far there. Yeah, but should he, I go in and apologize or just kind of or leave it where it is? That's on that's on you. <laughs> <laughs> um, the cast ladders are doing well. They don't need money. Um, I forgot what was it we had to get for Hylock. Was it the uh, wine or something else? No, no, no. The Castellanters were, they were not one of the families that yeah. you needed yeah, to oh, okay. give gifts to. They were they were the family that was involved in the Avernus nonsense. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. So I now have kind okay. of, they've, they've reformed. Mm-hmm. Um, I will. Like murder them all. Uh, allegedly reformed. allegedly reformed. we don't know that they uh, allegedly the entire family <laughs> fell off a carriage on a road and no one knows if that driver you know it's it's a lot of murky details um Selyse will stop at a fine uh spirit shop if there's such a thing and send a uh, Hylock a gift with her regards and apology oh fantastic what are deep spirits right <laughs> It's a uh, be Vinny's. Specific here, though. <laughs> <laughs> ah, very good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah. drinkable spirits. Count right. drinkable that's spirits. Important. That's yes. important. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Like, is there a new burial ground to explore? <laughs> that's a good point. It's, oh uh, my god. Oh no, like a necromancer would have to run that store, a spirit store, right? That has <laughs> oh, yeah. to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right, you're right. <laughs> oh, it's it's the it's the red light special in the back that's the spirit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a it's a front. I see. Uh-huh. I love it. Oh, come on. I I grew I up in it. Chicago. Everything's a front. Right. Everything's a front. 
love it. Um, and with that, um, the week continues as again normal and norm yeah, normal. And you think it would stop being unsettling. The <laughs> fact that you've had several weeks now where nothing has happened. And it it's still a little unnerving, but you're like, is this gonna be? Is this the new normal? I'm concerned. Um <clears throat> But the day of the town hall arrives, you can actually see uh, the, the morning of, does anybody do anything additional to prepare for it? Maybe I either I or I ask uh, someone to put some uh, put some signage outside, I guess, that says, mm -hmm. you know, uh, hosting town hall today, all are welcome, share, your, you know, something like that. A little signage mm -hmm. outside, I think would be cool. Okay, fantastic. Um, so signs are posted um, outside and maybe a little, you know, the, the way that like farmers markets do where the, there's a sign like three blocks down that says town hall this way. And then there's another oh, yeah, one two blocks arrow. down where mm -hmm. it directs you to everything for those people who haven't been to where Troll Skull Alley is. Um, the, the tavern is kind of, it's a little busier that morning. Great. Um, you see as everybody comes downstairs in their own time, like breakfast has been cooked, leaf has provided. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it, it's this day that you actually see like in the back, like duo is back there with leaf kind of like learning Ooh. food. Oh, okay. The ghost so maybe, and the ghost. I love that. Right. The ghost and the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe the eggs are a little overcooked this morning, but you can sure. tell that Duo may, may get, gave it his best effort. Um, and there are a couple of patrons who are in having, you know, very light meals and, you know, breakfast beer and mimosas. Because uh, yeah. Leaf is showing out. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, if not now. Right. Um, but yeah, the 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 building is not full of people, but you can tell that like some of these people may actually be here for the town hall, and mm. your notices have been noticed. Good. All right. Are we ready, y'all? Ready as we'll ever be. Well, with us, that doesn't necessarily mean a yes, but. Sure. <laughs> I mean, you got me there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, did we say what time? Did we specify what time this meeting was? Like, is it in the evening? Uh, it probably right after, after dinner. dinner. Yeah. Oh, after dinner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it will oh be wait. Do I was, see, I was gonna say either. Work. Yeah, I was gonna say either right after lunch or right at the end of the day. Yeah. Like that. So right. right. Actually, yeah. I'll say like before dinner, and then a break can be dinner, and then if we need to, we can resume. Smart. Oh, oh yeah. We we can like offer them dinner. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I said feed these people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, I, I mean, just, like, just did. We could order some pizza. They shot. You know, or or order some. Why would uh, you order food? I'm right here. Like Gazrick's in the other oh, part. <laughs> Big stack of water deep pizzas in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, but thin or thick crust. Oh my god, what mix? time is the town mix? hall? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pizza is more important. Well, the pizza will determine that. <laughs> right, right. The crust thickness. Oh my god. Uh, thin crust is evening. The deep crust is got to move. Right. Because <laughs> you need more time to before to bed. To get, yeah. 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 You know, you understand. You I lived do. in Chicago. I remember. <laughs> I remember. Let's just let, like does sundown sound yes. Right. Uh, yes. Just generally just yes. sundown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, the flyers that have been uh distributed around North Ward say sundown. Uh -huh. Um so um yeah, the the day is as normal as what normal is now. Mm -hmm. um, Dahani is uh, she's the one who's making the signs. I let me let me roll a dexterity check for these mm -hmm. signs. What is wrong with her? Oh no! Okay. Oh no! Ooh, oh no! Nice. <laughs> what is wrong with her? Dahani can have my inspiration. They can. Okay. They can. They can. Just a reroll. They can take mine. All right. 
There you go. Because yeah, 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 yeah. okay. it sure was a nine before. <laughs> it certainly was a nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a plus five, just for folks at home. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, something's up with Tahani, man. Mm-hmm. You know, I think she's still like her her drawing arm is still sprained. Yeah, sure, 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 because sure, her yeah. drawing arm is also her primary punching arm. So it's yeah, yeah. just oh, yeah, it just everything's took all the beatings with you. that dragon. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, chronic pain is real. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Um, but yeah, no, she she gets the signs out and um, you know, kind of like distributes them. And I I will say like as she's gone out, like she actually like garners notice from some people because she's just like flying around like dropping sure. them off um and you know she gets attention from like some of the the kids who were like oh look at the bird and all that fun stuff and she kind of like takes it in does a couple like tricks on her way back and it's it's adorable um but sh- slowly but surely as the sun begins to set um people begin loading into the manor like i've like before sundown, it's obviously like the people who who work earlier in the day, or the people like some of the older people who may not who who may not be working right now, and um, all you see all sorts of people um, making their way into the tavern. Like you see um, common folk and less common folk, and some of the people who are getting off of work, like you know the the workers in their in their their working clothes and and you see parents with their children and you see you know uh, uh in in all all age all age ranges you know you see the young children and then you see like people who look like they're bringing their older parents or their grandparents and like the the tables begin to fill and it really does look like you have the what's the word I'm looking for here like the beating heart of yeah. the north ward is yeah. assembled in troll skull manor like you do like you see a couple like make just make like a general perception check any and or all of you okay. yeah let's get a sense of the buzz the it's a general perception, perception check yeah, yeah. Well, okay the one I'm the one I'm very bad at is a three <laughs> <laughs> oh okay it's okay i got a 23 thank god okay. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 17 17 so close to a nat 20 i saw it land oh, and then yeah, oh, roll over. Over. <laughs> no. All right. oh. so that was uh, you're taking that 16 Celise. sure okay <laughs> uh but yeah you you do not you see a few People who are more nobly dressed, mm-hmm. but it's definitely not as many as the the more common folk. Like, um, and I'll 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 give you this as a as a I'll combine this with that perception check. Like as you see those people who are coming in, um, like the yeah. The people, the 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 more common folk are they look genuinely kind of like interested in what's happening, uh, you know, like what the the conversation is going to be, uh, whereas the nobles are kind of interested. They're like, okay, what is this? You know, like we've never done anything like this. What is this? Like what's happening? Um. Yeah, that's. I don't know why we didn't uh, anticipate this reaction from <laughs> that particular demographic of this ward, but anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but as the sun, like as the sun actually begins to like actually uh, dip past the horizon, um, the, the 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 manor is is almost full. Okay. Like there's a yeah. there's a body in in every seat, and Shaka, you do see okay. um, Maggie and Tilly come in Aww. nice i'm oh, sorry too uh, yeah yes yeah. uh and they are holding uh trays of cookies <laughs> oh the oh. squaw came through yeah oh, yeah you you, oh, you see the best you see maggie tilly and i think three other older women who are all holding trays of cookies and they all just look adorable and elderly and beautiful I, I would like to wink at Maggie. Like when I notice her kind of looking at me, I'd like to give her a little wink. 
she gives you a wink back and she actually so she gives you a wink back she holds up her her plate of cookies to say see i brought cookies and then she turns to who you can only assume is her knitting group they point she points at you and then you all see them begin to like like gather into like an old lady huddle and then just start talking (laughs) old lady huddle (laughs) tell tell us more about tilly and this wall and the wall of friends that they have sure um so they all appear to be in their their 60s or so um but remarkably remarkably spry for that age um i say remarkably as if as if 60 year old people can't be spry they look good you know black don't crack um and um they are uh tilly and the wall is a band good job masood um (laughs) but yeah they, they all um are they're dressed in clothing that looks like it was uh fashionable about 20 years ago but it's still remarkably well kept Mm -hmm. um and they look excited like genuinely excited and they so it's it's maggie tilly and then three other women who appear to be in the same age but whose names you obviously do not know and actually as they enter they don't even like they begin like passing cookies out to people oh wow okay what's in those cookies though yeah gosrick instantly is also <laughs> suspicious <laughs> like this is why we can't have nice things because we can't i had them guys they're fine, they're fine. <laughs> <laughs> and look how you act yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> winking That's all over true. the place yeah maybe, maybe, maybe everyone transforms into shaka i don't know uh, be great. right no uh, absolutely yeah. not uh i'm gonna walk over uh, sure yeah i'm walking over for sure absolutely uh, um are you approaching maggie tilly or any of the other women uh so they're in a huddle right they're like kind of grouped up together yeah they're they're in they're in a huddle and you kind of approach them just as they're getting ready to like break from their huddle and okay. go pass out cookies. yeah well yeah i just go up to maggie and like i just say thank thank you so much for coming and i see you bought some of your wonderful treats uh yes i forgot maggie's voice <laughs> that's fine we um, only but, remember Tilly's voice because we love it. So right, 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 right. absolutely. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! It was it was Maggie that we spoke to, and yeah. it was Tilly that she talked to. I thought I had oh. two voices. I don't. No, no, yes. no, 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 no. We clarifying. We, we, All right, we, we had never met Tilly. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. Um, so I just it, did yeah. it for a bit. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> uh, Maggie, Maggie approaches to you, and and she uh, she holds the, the the plate up to you. Would you would you would you like one? I've uh, it's it's uh, it's very uh, this is. You've gathered quite a lot. I mean, obviously, I, I I brought my my knitting group and I told a couple of people, but you've got quite a quite a few. I oh, I see Reginald over there. Excellent. He just got up work, you know. Um, but this is quite a fine assemblage of people that you've that you've collected. I don't know. No, I mean it's it's thanks to you. Like you helped to get the word out. Um you know, I just hope everyone, I want people to be honest, you know, I want people to be honest. Like I know people might have some uh, concerns, right? Positive, negative in between. And we just hope that this can be useful to people, you know, that it's not just, you know, sugar coated stuff. Like we're, you know, get it, get it like sugar coated with the cookie, you know, and I kind of <laughs> made the cookie. Away. They all, uh, they all do that old lady titter. That's like, <laughs> yeah. one of the ladies who you do not know, um, uh, approaches and says well of course you knew that um maggie told us that everybody would definitely want some of our cookies and we did promise the people that we told that we would be bringing them oh so, that's why they're here oh, okay well we well, told that uh, one of the other women is like well we did tell them that every like this is a very important thing that is going to happen today, but we did offer them the incentive of cookies if they came and they listened. I well, went to you... uh, I went to an assembly once where they gave us all a bunch of food and they also tried to sell us houses, but we all had houses. So we didn't need the houses, but we definitely took the cookies. Well, you clearly know 
you know, how to get to the best ways of, of a North Ward person's heart. And uh, I appreciate y'all using that knowledge to get people here. And now people can uh, share their, uh, you know, their grievances with us and uh, we can do our best to make things better. So thank you. The, you, you get a, a general chorus of, oh, you're welcome. And it was no problem. And all of those, those uh, platitudes that, that they do, that, that, that a, a group of old ladies do when it's literally like no trouble at all. And then they all like, they go, they're, they're like a, a football huddle. They go ready, break. And then they all go <laughs> to deliver cookies um, at, at close range. So, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Tilly's running the slant route. They understand. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> at close range, yeah. you see they, they um, Maggie's got a tray of oatmeal and oatmeal raisin cookies. Uh, Tilly's got chocolate chip. Oh, um, damn joke. Uh, one of the other women has uh, uh, snicker doodles. Um, one of the other ones has lemon. And then oh, uh, then there's just like a basic, the, the fifth one has like a, just a basic sugar cookie. Right. And Love it. Soon uh, there are bodies in seats and there are, you know, it, it, it eventually kind of becomes a standing room only, but not like a crush of people. Um, the old ladies have situated themselves strategically throughout the room. <laughs> and uh, when it appears that like probably about like the eighth bell people, it appears that like nobody else is coming or if they, you know, they can come in whenever. And uh, the floor is, the floor is yours, friend. I already asked yes. that. We determined that it doesn't matter. Shall so, we? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. So, so how do we want to do this? Do, do we want like us like sort of as like kind of a, you know, kind of like a panel, like we're sitting in front kind of do it. Do we just want one person? Like we were kind of advertising yeah. Kent and Virgil oh, as like oh, the oh, first husbands. So, oh, so like, God. should they be <laughs> like sitting there up front getting questions? Like, I think you know, I think there might be a space where we could have. Can we say that we did? We planned this before the start. Oh yeah, it's not yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, I think like I feel comfortable with like Gosrick introducing Kent and Virgil. I don't think they right. should introduce themselves. I think like right. in terms of promenade and circumstance, there might be like a level to which like hey like and now thank you all for coming up. We introduce you the first lords of uh the 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 lords of the rivals, Kent and Virgil. Um. Is that is that where also the title that we're yeah, sticking let's with? Not give yeah, us, yeah. let's not give us a word title with all these right. uh, that are like. Yeah. Hey. Dehani, Dehani's like, I think we need to workshop exactly what we're going to. <laughs> this this happened this morning. Yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> um, I think we're going to. I, I think we really need to kind of workshop what we're going to call them. Are they? No. I thought we said first husbands. Yeah, I think first, first husbands. Of, husbands. Of first husbands what? works. Is is of, question. Of Troll School Manor and oh, soon to be Troll. of the North Ward. Yeah, maybe we don't yeah. tell them that part yet. <laughs> mm, I think, no, but I do, I do I think, think we keep that is... and keep the, I... the goal, right? Like the target is is moving there. Gosrick, what, what yes. part that you know about me makes you think that I don't eventually want to be called the first husband of the North Ward? Uh, none. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> but I, I also... Think right now. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Understandable. Um, I get it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Celise will uh be right behind you as your as your right hand and Fenris on your left. Oh, in place of Virgil. There you go. No, oh, she's gonna s- I'm sorry, can't Yes, never mind. The one on either side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So basically she's there and she's going to look stand there and look menacing, which is what she does best. <laughs> I will um after the introduction just keep an eye on the folks within the space. I'm gonna see if um Oh, kin and any of the other craftsmen around oh, yeah. their reaction to some of the commentary. Um, yeah, I'm going to just try to, in a metagame version, just incite the audience yeah. as, <laughs> as the speeches are happening. But yeah, just get the vibe check. You know how everyone's doing. Um, yeah. How about you? Yeah, Shaka, and, and, and like, I think Shaka would like to be, um, since there's already cookies and stuff, maybe making sure that people have something to drink. So mm. you know, making sure that there's water and 
you know, that kind of stuff that people can, you know, be, uh, have that as well. So he's like going back and forth to the kitchen, you mm -hmm. know, making sure that there's stuff like that. So. Over, uh, one moment when you're passing by Gazrik, he's looking at the grandma cookies and he's like, I mean, they're good, but no chocolate chip. I mean, whatever. It's fine. I would I would have made chocolate. Gazrik is still upset. <laughs> it is a Gazrik. <laughs> Gazrik hasn't seen the chocolate chip plate yet. Oh! Plate yeah, I can, let him eat his words. Let him eat his words. Oh, I, <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I wonder what happened to that chocolate chip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he good. I'm so the mad. The they have the perfect recipe. <laughs> 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 I'm so upset at how good these are. Um, yeah. <laughs> What's that, Celise? Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I thought I thought direction. you. I, I thought you. Yeah. No, I was I was just going wow at Gosrick. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, uh, and right. then Dahani kind of pipes in like I think it's this all sounds really really good. It, I think that what we're doing like we shouldn't just be standing or like I'm just really repeating what we've all just said. But yeah. I think the fact that we are not standing around just kind of like overseeing everything but we're actually like among them and making sure that people are you know taken care of is a very good thing I think that's kind of the route that we really want to go with this because we want them to see that like we're not waiting for them mm -hmm. to or at least not anymore we're not waiting for them to bring their grievances to us we like called them here so that they could do that mm -hmm. um and yeah. I think that's 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 a good thing. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, okay. I don't know what more I could do beyond the signage and the uh, signage. You've done well, wonderfully. I guess we should have someone that sort of uh, moderates, I guess, and ask people for their concerns and stuff. Mm. Uh, uh, I guess, since I'm doing the drinks, I guess I could or. Is is there any is there anyone that would like to do that? I guess, and this is what again what we're saying like before this started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I could because I'm introducing. I could also moderate since so, like looking at stuff, but I also if someone else wants to do it, like please. I yeah. think let's let's. Um, I I think the two of you, Shaka and Gazrik, mm -hmm. are probably since you're gonna be sort of the closest eyes on the, to the crowd. Crew, yeah. yeah, I think you'll probably be the ones to like. I recognize as people want to speak, mm -hmm. but let's maybe see what they have because it also might not be, at least at first, like there may not be a back and forth to moderate. It might just yeah. be like, hey, this is our thing. Let us tell you about it. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I th yeah, I think you like usually got to start stuff to keep the crowd going. Yeah. So maybe we start by talking about people moving out and you know, like yeah. just adjust the elephant in the room at the beginning, like not just make it an empty thing. And then people yeah, will totally. naturally and some of the things that in. we would like to do. Yeah. Uh, and then, and then see where they are. Yeah. I think that's right. And I'll look, you know, we'll look to you two out there to sort of, you know, here's the thought, here's the person that wants to whatever. It sounds like a plan. I think this is going to, I honestly think this is going to go better than we expected it to. Right. Um, that's the honey. That's the honey, not the GM. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, and then the only thing that I, uh, Gazrick wants to do before, um, if like right before the speech, is cast um, enhance ability on himself for to give him a little bit of uh, eagle splendor to have advantage on charisma checks. Oh, mm. good job! Good. So, yeah, I use my spells for non-combat reasons. I, uh, there's utility there. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Uh, okay. So then we uh, flash forward to this moment where. Um, so we all remember the plan. Yes. Sure. I think so. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we so we we flash forward to this moment where um, the crowd is is you know murmuring. You can see them all talking talking amongst themselves. I do also want to mention because I neglected too that you do see uh, Zephyr among mm. the crowd. Oh, yeah. Do you see Ken? Good among the crowd um you see a couple of uh a couple of, you know various npcs that you have seen over the course of of the seasons uh they are they are here who except Lil is, Smoke. Lil is, Smoke is, is that here. mert there mert there mert is not here mm. okay why would mert come here oh uh, you know it was, uh, it seems interesting uh, yeah uh, okay 
you know, and then he's taking care of the dragon. You know, we, like, we kind of got him to agree to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Do we want um, Mert here? <laughs> that's that's where I was wondering. Follow, like, follow question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. No, it's a good, I, is it good chaos or bad chaos, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, the as you all kind of just like you don't like you don't appear like there's no like presentation. Everybody mm-hmm. is really among everybody. Yeah. Yeah, but you are welcome to. Like, there is a moment where, as everybody catches notice of you all, the crowd kind of dies down a little bit, where they're mm-hmm. expecting one of you to say something. Uh, Gazrik steps forward. Um, yeah, I turns to the group. Thank you all so much for coming here. I know this was a bit of a surprise for some of you all, um, but we really are grateful for all everyone's. Um, efforts in being present with us. We here at Troll School Manners, a member of Rivals of Waterdeep, understand that um, the community has endured some hardships uh, due to our relationship with this ward in particular, as well as the city itself. Somebody in the back snorts. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the sore. <laughs> Just, yeah. Uh, and sword, Gosnick's sword. like, unfazed. Do I have to roll to see if that phases me? What, at what point? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. It's, <laughs> it's, it's something that would absolutely be expected to the, like in yeah, reaction yeah, yeah. to the thing that you just said. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and Gosnick's like, no, and I understand, you know, the, the situation has not been um, at the forefront of our mind, but we are striving to show that we have the ability and capacity to change and that we are committed to our ward here. Um, But without further ado, I would rather pass it off to the folks who um, can speak better to this or field most of your questions. We'd gladly like to welcome the first husbands of Troll School Manor. I literally was about to say Eugenio Vargas. Virgil and Kent. Um, there's a smattering of applause. Um, yeah. it's not you know nothing like overt, but it's like oh, like when you when you say first husbands, um, there's a little bit of a murmur, just like oh, I thought that they were like a, it the the general insight of the crowd is that everybody thinks that the rivals are just like an adventuring party who lives here, mm-hmm. like that, and that there's, you know. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I got you. Yeah, no, I got you. That there's no like yeah. that. There's no deeper structural connection or organization. There we go. Just, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, there's a smattering of applause as, as Kent and Virgil just like present themselves. What were you gonna say, Salise? I was gonna say Salise just raises an eyebrow when there's not a very enthusiastic reaction from the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> and she is trying very hard not to be. A yeah. Friend. I'm and ready to just, roll a performance check, you know. <laughs> and she's just standing there, sword pointed down in its scabbard, just kind of like, that's it? That's all you... <laughs> well, I, 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 just, I appreciate it. I thought so too, but it's, it, they'll warm up. It's okay. <laughs> all right. Should we uh, hire the bard? Was that, was that our own problem? <laughs> no, because the only one that I know is, is Walter, and he wouldn't have... It would have been... Not this. No, that makes a lot of sense. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you do see uh, one of the old ladies uh, kind of looking very appreciatively at Kent and Virgil, like, aw. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, you know, I'll give her a little wink um, as we as we sort of step forward uh, <laughs> and say, uh, what a marvelous introduction, Kazrik. Thank you. Thank you all so much for being here today. Um, Gosric covered the most of it. You know, the rivals, as I understand it, I am a recent addition, Virgil and I, recent additions uh, to the group. But as I understand it, the rivals have been here for several years now. And we all came to the realization, as Gosric said, that we live here. We take advantage of the many incredible services and resources that the Northward has to offer. We occasionally, and I, is there a chance that I, while Gosrick was talking, could have pinpointed where the snort came from? 
<laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, um, it's, it's from somewhere in like the back middle. Mm-hmm. So looking in that sort of general direction and doing my best to look like I know exactly who I'm looking at, um, I'll say, you know, we've taken advantage of all of these things while we've been here. We have indeed occasionally brought a bit of trouble to the ward. (laughs) And I think that we all feel it's time that we give a little something back to the city and to the ward. And we thought about it for a long time and mulled over lots and lots of ideas. And we have some that we're very happy to share with you all. But we wanted to know what you all wanted. You are our neighbors, our friends, our, our, uh, our colleagues. Um, and we, for far too long, have lived apart from the rest of the people of the North Ward. And we wanted to change that. And that's why you're all here today. Please know that we are open to hearing whatever it is that you all have to say about your homes, about the ward, about us being here, a part of your community. We know and we understand, and most importantly, we apologize for the big crater in the middle of Troll Skull Alley thing that happened a little over a year ago. Um, and Kent, Kent kind of pipes in, and uh, we, we want you to know that um, the town hall today is uh, just the first part of the uh, the our, the actions that we want to do as a part of the revivify the North Ward initiative oh, yeah. that we that you may have seen the flyers about town um, did I say Kent pipes and I meant for you did <laughs> uh, this, this is a wild hello. experience for me I gotta right? tell you. yeah I, I, uh, I uh, was like <laughs> Kent's conscious <laughs> hello my name is Virgil I'm, I mean I'm yeah, an yeah, ASMR sorcerer I, I am an ASMR sorcerer mm. um, and this is this is just the the first part of the revitalization efforts that we want to do here within the North Ward so please if you have any questions comments or concerns Uh, That is why we are all here today, to listen to them and to figure out what it is that we all can do together. Please speak freely. We we want to be respectful of everyone as we we have this conversation today, but please know, uh, speak freely, tell us your mind. We know that we are uh, not the most popular dwellers of the North Ward because of some of the unfortunate incidents that have happened in the past. We take that on. Uh, We just want to hear from you. Um, There's one person in like the middle right from where you all are standing, not the person that snorted. Okay. One person who like raises their hand. Uh, Which one? Selise. Selise gestures at them. Is your house going to keep disappearing on us again? Because every time it disappears, something really bad happens in the North Ward. And, uh, like that's why I moved. Like, I, hi, my name is uh, my name hi. is Abigail. I lived uh, two houses down in one of the now empty buildings. Mm-hmm. And uh, like the last time that your house disappeared, it was very troubling for me and my family. And I just want to know if the house is if, if your house is gonna keep disappearing, is like what does that mean for the North Ward? Like, what what? what it's it's a lot for those of us who don't do magic and things mm-hmm. like that. And I just I just want to know what you have planned for the safety and structural integrity of your house going mm-hmm. forward. Of course, Abigail, thank you so much because that is the exactly the sort of thing we need to know that it is a real <clears throat> concern whether or not this structure stays in the same D and D's wild. Um, <laughs> You know, we uh, we have had several weeks uh, since we all sort of returned back to our home here where, where things have been real quiet and you all will be the first to know uh, <laughs> that that's unusual for us. So we're hopeful that things are beginning to even out a little bit, but to your point, there are some steps that we could take. Um, I certainly think we've been working quite closely with some city officials, uh, including the Open Lord and the Blackstaff. And I think perhaps we could talk to them about this exact concern of yours, Abigail, and and hopefully use some of that magic that that we know is, is very sort of um, unfamiliar to many residents of the North Ward. But we can use that uh, to, of course, Virgil here, 
Pierre could explain it much more specifically, but to give you an idea to sort of anchor the house mm -hmm. where it is uh, in this dimension. Um, and that is certainly something that, that if that is a concern to the community, we can, we can prioritize on our list. Kent's mostly sure what he's talking about, yeah. but like also does isn't a magic user. So like <laughs> as a magic user, I think Gazu could be like, absolutely. <laughs> and trust me, it is we understand how concerning it might be for you all to suddenly have a fixture, a mainstay of your walk, a part of your community just evaporate uh, before your eyes. Um, not to say that uh, you haven't thought about it, but it is also very distressing for us to suddenly lose our home. So it is, I just want you to know that this, it's not something that we plan to occur. It was something that happened to us. Um, and because it happened once, we are doing what we can to make sure it does not happen again. Yeah, uh, about about that, a person who is sitting maybe like two or three seats from Abigail um, stands up and says, "Yeah, the so y'all bring a lot of trouble into the North Ward on occasion." Yeah. And mm -hmm. I, and so a, a, a general consensus between Kent and Gosrick's answers, um, murmurs of agreement and uh, a little bit of appreciation when it came to the fact that for the last several weeks there has been nothing going on um mm -hmm. like it's it's like oh yeah nothing has been going on right. that's actually really nice uh we'd like to see more of that and um when you begin to talk about anchoring the building uh -huh. some of the some of the people in the like the people in the back uh -huh. are like you see them start to kind of like ponder that like how would that even work and these, like, well. and I, I, I don't want to separate the crowd by like yeah, yeah, yeah. class, but right. like the more common folk are indeed in the front. You have like a smattering of uh -huh. like more affluent people in the middle area, but the back is where they all are because you all get it. They are really they are spectators. They yeah, want to see yeah, what yeah. they want to see what you all are doing. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh, like they uh -huh. they have established themselves as mostly separate from the crowd of people who have actually come here to address their concerns. We are being judged by them. Yeah, yeah. very much. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. For sure. Um, yeah. No, in, no insight check needed for that. Yeah. Shaka would like to, in the middle of like getting drinks ready, would like to go up to the front and um, say, um, Yes, we definitely understand it's very concerning uh, for everyone, including us, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. when things like that happen. Um, uh, unfortunately, some of that is out of our control. Like, we definitely don't want to make any empty promises. Um, but what we can say is that there are uh, pros and cons to that stuff, right? I mean, um, you know, there, like there, like you know, you, you've obviously talked about s some of the cons. Some of the pros are that, you know, when these things happen, there's renewed interest in the ward, like what's going on. And you get people like uh, the Open Lord of Waterdeep, uh, you know, like the Blackstaff coming here. Right. Um, I think the problem is when those things happen, that attention and resources aren't always redistributed to the people that live here. Mm -hmm. um, and as he says, redistributed he kind of looks over at Gazarik and like is uh, a, 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 a little head nod um, and then two, there, two there tears are, two single tears go across his cheek there are murmurs of there there are murmurs of um of a, there there's it's it's a mixed bag of agreement and a little bit of of commiseration um as you say that uh uh Shaka um uh a, a woman who's wearing like she's she looks like she's wearing like a a a, a butcher's apron um, stands up and says, "You, uh, you, you do have a point." Um, I, uh, hi, my name is is uh, is uh, Phyllis, and I live about four blocks away. Um, the I I I saw a brief uptick in in my business when the shop disappeared. We did have a lot like. Things got things get around really quickly, and people come to see the massive crater that you all that was a result of the manor disappearing, which was wild. But on the way, like it, it brought people in. Like I sold all of my food that week. Um, and 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 uh, Jameson, you uh, like 
didn't somebody buy a really nice like necklace from you that week? Um, and J- Jameson, who's kind of like in like across the way, like it, it just this this act of of talking to people, you also get to see like the the common folk of the North Ward absolutely know each other. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> and uh, and Jameson stands up and he's like, ah, uh, uh, yes, that's absolutely true. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, so, hi, my name is my name is Jameson. I'm I'm a metal worker, and um, I the, the some somebody did come and buy a very a very interesting like chain that I bought that I, I'd made. It was a, a very intricate pattern. Took me a very long time to do. And uh, just very, uh, very pleased about that. Cause I, I upped my prices for that one. Um, my boss is always telling me that I need to appreciate my work a little bit more. And, good uh, for him. Mm-hmm. and uh, he's, he's a very, he, he's a very good boss. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I sold that one at a little higher price point and, you know, I've raised my prices a little bit and things have, things have been, they're, you know, they're not steady. People don't really like buy a lot of jewelry, but it's, it's, things are getting better. Mm. And then uh, people around him are like, really, they're like, they're like, hmming and hawing and considering and things like that. So it sounds like uh, there are in fact uh, drawbacks and benefits, um, but obviously we would, we would prefer to not bring trouble uh, often, if ever, to the North Ward. But because there are, it isn't, it is obviously a complex situation, maybe something ongoing, as Virgil said, you know, this is just step one. So maybe something ongoing that we have is, is you all, uh, we would love to hear, we would love to have a list of the, the sorts of real, tangible, and compatible things that happen when trouble comes to our doorstep here on the North Ward? Is it about structural damage? Is it about having a, a, a sort of, a sort of, um... Kent looks to Virgil for a second and is like, am I gonna say this? And since, I, since he's not here and none of you know what I'm about to say, he's just gonna be like, yeah, go for it. Uh, <laughs> you know, maybe there is a, there is a rival's trouble repair fund that uh, you know that we sort of set up to address these very specific concerns, so that because here's here's the truth, and you know what, like Gazrik said, and Shaka has also said, we want to we want to be here, we want to have this conversation, and we want to be honest with you. And the truth is, we uh, at least right now we can't guarantee to you all that we won't get into more adventures. That's the nicest word I could possibly come up with for what it is we do. <laughs> uh, but if you will still have us, we want to do what we can to make sure that if trouble does follow us home, you are prepared and able to move forward from that. So this is this is a great conversation. This is great for us to know that this is really high on the priority list. And I think what we'll do with this is continue to interface with you all, uh, decide, uh, figure out what sorts of things specifically it is that we can do to protect against this. You know, the other true thing is that we are, the, the six of us are absolutely able to provide more direct services to the community. Um, you know, uh, Celise here, is a, a devotee of, of Tyr, a paladin, very capable in terms of all sorts of things from, from uh, you know, from security to, and Kent takes a very quick moment to glance at Celise and then looks away because he doesn't want to know if she's cool with this. Uh, and, and even a remarkable healer. Uh, <laughs> it's like that uh, moment when you're like, technically I'm conversational. <laughs> right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Um, Gosric, a plethora of abilities to assist you, also uh, healing and all sorts of other... The, the point is, I don't need to list each of us individually because I am getting stares, but the point is, <laughs> there are all sorts of services and, and assistance that we can provide as we begin to know what more you all need. So, so tell us, let's, let's hear some more from, from you all. What are other things... That, that you would like to see, whether it's rivals related or otherwise, but you would like to see during this revivify the, the North Ward. Uh, uh, there's, there's a moment where it's, it's a little, 
the the murmurs begin again as people begin to talk amongst themselves about what they want like what they want the rivals to do and I'm just like a a general vibe check of the crowd ranges ranges from things like do you think that they could like pay to get my house fixed to um like to things like you know the 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 road on god give Mm -hmm. me give me the map give me the map I know I keep I keep moving right? it away and then being like, why? I need it. I want it. Right. Um Michigan Avenue. Right. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> uh you know, the the the, well, the high road you mean, right? No, not 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 quite the high road. Um, I'm just gonna pick a random street. Uh, you know, Thunder Staff Way's got had a big oh. pothole in it for yeah. like a month. Um to So one- that's like short drive. <laughs> yes, yes it is. Uh- <laughs> And then one little girl in the front with her parent uh, breaks away from her parent and says, will the bird give us piggyback rides? Oh. <laughs> um, and then like it gets quiet. Yep. <laughs> the girl's mother looks at her as if that is the most like she, she, she pulls her away and sits her back down. Like, I am so sorry. I'm so <laughs> And Dahani just kind of like, I mean, like Tahani, we're not insured for that yet. <laughs> Call a ruse to uh, just to sue us. I love <laughs> oh, right. my elbow! <laughs> <laughs> that that oh, warring that warring feeling in Tahani about like I get inter- I get to interact with kids versus oh, Salise, yeah. like we're not insured for that. If your mom says it's okay and I won't fly that high off the ground. Mm, there you go. There you go. <laughs> uh gossip that's, also oh, that's oh. not quite the but you also see there are a couple of more there are a couple of other kids who are like, I want rides, I want mm-hmm. I want to fly. I want to fly. <laughs> um, so out of character, are any of them like looking at Fenris or something? It's just all no, no, none of them are <laughs> looking yet. at Fenris. No, but but like they are like it's obvious that these kids have seen Dahani <laughs> flying around and they think it's the coolest thing. Uh-huh, mm, yeah. uh-huh. Um I love that. And uh one of the one of the it's it's an older, it's an older boy. He looks to be about maybe 10. Um, and he steps up and he says, Well, the um the 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 so the there's I I live on I live on Imar Street and um like down the way from us is um a extremely an extremely big house and I can't remember the name of the guy who lives there but on occasion he will um open the doors and he'll come and he'll will he'll let us in and we'll get to have like candy and stuff but it's totally cool like it's it's a cool like we I haven't seen you guys do anything for us like oh, this kid is this kid oh, is I very like, like he's like, yeah, he's yeah. like what about the kids yo i like this this is like kid president uh, i feel it uh, future not- president man and uh, he, one of the actually one of the people in the back mm-hmm. steps up and he says that 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 would be that, that would be me <laughs> 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 um and then this he he looks both put upon like he didn't really want to contribute to this discussion but also uh-huh. he's proud of he's proud of the work that he's doing and he says um yeah every so often the <laughs> every so often we have block parties <laughs> yes yeah we um, absolutely need to have an alley party I yeah think we, what we, we can definitely support yeah, yeah. block parties <laughs> no but, but i think that's like a kind of jumping off of Ke- like ken's energy i think guys are like no, that's a brilliant idea. You're absolutely right. Yeah. We could be doing more stuff for uh, targeted communities. I know um, I had mentioned there had been some conversation with uh, Zephyr and uh, Kin over here about taking care of some of the craftsmen and the way in which uh, rivals can invest in uh, some of the artists in the area. But you're absolutely right. There are other communities that we could uh, be thinking of. And hey, Thank you for bringing it to our attention. We can definitely sort of do something now. 
um, Zafir actually, like, he sticks his hand up super high. He's sitting Uh-oh. somewhere in the front so that mm-hmm. he can be seen. Uh-huh. Um, and he says, uh, I also, what what I wanted to uh, talk to you about, wait, there's not a whole lot of, I can get around because I built my chair to get around, but I there are a lot of us who cannot get around super well mm-hmm. around here. And uh, would love to, uh, that initiative, I would be more than happy to front, mm-hmm. but you know no absolutely we hey we can definitely uh get behind and be in support of something like that mm-hmm. there's a lot of cobblestones in rivals in, in <laughs> water deep all right and that's that is uncomfortable to move on there there's more people than those who are who need who need uh uh accessories to to get around that say mm-hmm. Yeah, and you you hear one guy in the back says like I stub my toe on the same cobble every day. I've done that every day for the yeah, last six weeks. It's hard on the feet. Freaking yeah, it's absolutely. Weird. Yeah. You know so, the step is coming, but you never right. you, <laughs> it's just I I I always forget. I know it's coming, but it's mm-hmm. as soon as I you get me. Get me. I get um, it. And and uh one of the what one of the old women uh actually um uh, stand stands up because she is she is a little hunched over so she stands up so that you can actually like see her um and as she, as she stands up the crowd gets quiet which seems to signify that at the very least these are people who respect their elders <laughs> <laughs> um, good um she says uh what it seems like we are missing from you all is just the fact that you know we exist Oh, and I don't. Can I? Does Ken actually do that? I don't know <laughs> if it's quite that face. loud, but I do think he pulls a face. <laughs> like, oh, I, I actually feel bad about that. Mm. And yeah, I don't, exactly. I don't mean it as harshly as it sounds, <laughs> but at least since, at least in this immediate area, we don't see a lot of you other than you going off to do your stuff or you coming back from adventures or you standing outside wondering where your house is gone. We don't see you. Yeah. So would more regular kind of get togethers, uh, do you think that would help to solve that? Maybe because it seems like all you definitely know each other very well. (laughs) Um, uh, So do you think maybe having some get togethers would, help solve that or maybe uh just this us is, like, yeah this is a, a wonderful start actually this is the first time that we have spoke uh, we have spoken yeah. to you all for yeah. 12 whole seasons 12 full seasons. Se- stop it she's like what <laughs> <laughs> exactly 12 12 whole- your your uh your <laughs> understanding of time is a little we've been working with off. this guy called gregory i don't know have you met gregory <laughs> as soon as you say have you met gregory everybody in that bar goes <laughs> you know however whatever it takes to unify this community i guess it's i guess it's hatred of gregory <laughs> mm. <laughs> um and it's at that like it's at that point that mm-hmm. the door opens um like everybody begins to like commiserate over gregory you hear some laughter in the back <laughs> and incredible. uh you know somebody's talking about but we had it's, it's 10 days why do we need less days to do things <laughs> um, <laughs> and it 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 begins to it it starts to become like a gregory roast when the door opens yes. And Gregory and, walks in. <laughs> and Gregory walks in. <laughs> no, the door opens and standing there, looking a little confused. Uh oh. Is Celise. What? Uh, I turn around to make sure Celise is. Uh, still standing where she was originally. I want to make an insight. I want to make an insight check on if it's a doppelganger. I just in, in this exact moment, I just want to do a quick insight if it's a sure. doppelganger. Can, can you insight? I mean, that? I, yeah, you I, to insight when you see two of them? Here's 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 how that works. 
go ahead, Gazrik, make that insight check. Shaka, yes, the around. Solis that has been standing near Kent and Virgil this whole time is still standing there. Solis at the door. How's she dressed? You have she she is dressed like season nine Solis. Oh, oh, no. Full armor. Wait Full armor. Season it nine. is dirty. It is okay. ragged. And she looks like she has been walking for a while. Okay. And hey, that's where we're going to end the episode. Oh, I got a 22 so... on the inside. What does that tell me? Uh, that tells you uh, that the Solis I can at the find door, out next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The Solis at the door is someone that we're going to talk about next week. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so, so, yeah, yeah. yeah so, right, right, right before the end, I like look at the rivals and say, I think there is something in these cookies. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? Well done. Uh, so we're, we're hallucinating. Something yeah. in the cookies. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. It's like a sitcom ending. <laughs> yeah. Close up. Uh, so, uh, yeah. What wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Um, let's take some some questions. Do I did I not get the thing right? There we yeah. go. There it is. Mm. It's there. It's, it's there. there. All right. While you uh, while you uh, throw those <laughs> questions that I absolutely know you have our way, we're gonna go in reverse order and uh, and uh, talk about who we are and wh what we've got going on and all that stuff. Masood, take it away. Hi, I'm Masood. Uh, I'm on Instagram <laughs> and Twitter. I'm a rude boy. I don't know. I'm just like. I'm so I'm oh my god and I gotta I gotta sit for at least it's a it's a Gregorian week I only gotta wait six more days <laughs> thank God for Gregory it, man thank it, God for Gregory uh, yeah uh, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter Marud Boy M A H R U D V O I I'm gonna be back over on this wonderful Twitch partner channel doing a little more of uh, Elden Ring streams later this week. So keep an eye out on that. Um, other stuff that's going on on my end. Um, yeah, I've got a, a couple things in the work that I will be able to announce uh, soon, but not quite yet. Um, also, if you are in Chicago and um, you're going to be around from um, like April 21st until uh, June uh 16th on a thursday night and you want to come see a show at the annoyance theater that i'm in come check out spliff laugh love uh it's a show sponsored by dispensary 33 talking all about weed humor and we're gonna have a good time um but that's me that's what i got going on uh find me more on instagram and twitter like always uh but i should pass it on to kent to you Henio. hi well i'm not muted hi uh <laughs> Uh, I'm Eugenio. I'm DM Jazzy Hands. Uh, I played Kent. You can find me on the internet at DM Jazzy Hands. Uh, what have I got coming up? I'm very excited to be back. So uh, first thing is tomorrow is uh, a big day, but not actually live for, for anything. Um, but tomorrow, uh, my character from the A Familiar Quest show on uh, CNE Games Twitch channel, um, a D&D stream show uh, where all of the adventures are familiars who have been released from their uh, warlocks and wizards and weird stuff is happening. Anyway, my character from that show is coming out uh, in the Idol Champions video game tomorrow. Uh, Colonel Pest, the Pest mascot from Strixhaven will be available uh, as part of a little pack, uh, familiar pack. Uh, so he'll be there to, you know, add extra clicks to your game. Uh, uh -huh. And uh, yeah, so that's tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, uh, now that Shaka won't be, uh, you know, dealing with the courts of the Raven Queen on Monday nights, uh, I will be back with Pest and an awesome cast of other characters, um, Nega Oryx and uh, Michelle Wen, uh, I am Chubby Bunny and Megan Kenrick, all playing with Todd Kenrick as our DM. Uh, we're coming back to a familiar quest. Uh, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on the, the c &E Games Twitch channel. Um, we have pre-recorded all of these, so some of us may be in chat. Uh, actually, no, we won't be in chat because we'll be recording another episode while that episode is airing. Uh, but come check it out. It's been wild. Uh, so come <laughs> check us out. Also, I had taken a little brief hiatus from streaming, but then things happened and I'm back. So I'm going to start streaming again next week on my channel. Uh, so y'all come and hang out. We'll play some Mass Effect uh, uh, Andromeda and figure out what else is going on uh-huh uh-huh so um great well that's great that's just great um <laughs> sorry i just i had a thought so when 
when uh, Latia said Celise of season nine in season nine dress, uh, I had a moment where I couldn't remember what season was what. And I was like, oh my God, have Kent and Virgil never met the real Celise? Did oh, she get yeah. ambushed on the road from Tarami? Right. And we've never actually met her. But I was just, I was corrected about the timeline in our backstage chat. So mm-hmm. I'm less concerned about that. Now you're <laughs> muted, uh, Latia. <laughs> Latia, you're muted, my love. <laughs> Uh, let me make that correction now because I was uh, I was also blanking on which season it was. That's okay. uh, she's wearing what she wore in season ten. Right. Got it. Right. Yeah. Season ten, not season nine. Season ten. Mm-hmm. Got it. Um, and okay. then That's here good. is <laughs> here is where we uh, plug our wonderful uh, Asmar sorcerer Virgil, who yeah. is Brian Gray. You can find him everywhere at Urban Bohemian. I don't actually remember what he is doing that he is out this week, so I don't know if he's um, regularly. He so he is. He did not stream today. He won't have a Tuesday stream because he's on a work trip. Mm-hmm. But he is um, guesting on a few streams. I know Friday he's doing a birthday stream uh, with our mod DC Lacer. So early happy birthday to DC yeah. um, to raise money. And then I think Thursday he's going to be on Split the Screen with fellow Rainbow Arcade member Biggest Bennis. And Disco's still available on Idol Champions, yes, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Cool, cool. Disco's not going away, just th- it doesn't go to charity at this point. Right, right. Yeah. Um, all right, so uh, Sharif. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm Sharif. Uh, you can find me at sharifjackson.com, S-H-A-R-E-E-F, jackson.com, Sharif Jackson on all social networks. Uh, Court of the Raven Queen is over um, on Idol Champions Presents, but you can check out the VODs on their YouTube channel. Um, it was definitely a blast. Um, and also um, check out uh, Bonds Beyond Time, a Meiji Ascension campaign uh, that I've been working on as well. Um, and you can check uh, ch- check uh, check uh, that out. Um, at, uh, uh, I will get the link and I will put it I will tweet it out because I don't remember the link and I probably should be ready with that, but I'm not, uh, which makes me awful. Um, yeah, and nice. uh, oh, sorry. And the, the, the Kira 858 uh, t- t- Twitter and Twitch and all that stuff is uh, where we broadcast that uh, channel. Um, yeah, Mage is a pretty interesting game. So I've uh, de- definitely uh, uh, been learning that and uh, get, get, get getting used to that. Very uh, much more technical than uh, 5e is. Um, so uh, getting into that stuff is, but but in in like a good way, in like a good way. Um, yeah, and uh, other than that, uh, just grading and tutoring are on a high level now we're in ap season uh uh college is wrapping up so i'm busy with a lot of that now and of course uh my son now is uh you know almost five and a half months so wild uh that stuff as well was cool um oh yeah and uh special shout out to the uh coyote and crow team i just got my copy of their uh same uh, hell yeah they're like indigenous in indigenous written and uh and uh, and uh, created ttr rpgb jeez ttrpg book um and the cover art is incredible um it's a nice and meaty book so uh, make sure to support them as well because uh we need more diversity of all levels um you know in gaming so yeah chunky book all right tanya I've got surprisingly a light week. I just looked at my calendar to be ready and I'm like, oh my God. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm doing an internal thing with Ubisoft for the last day of Women's History Month. If I can share it, I absolutely will. Uh, we're doing a kind of fireside chat podcast thing. And then Black Dice is back. We had two weeks off unexpectedly. Uh, we had a major revelation for poor DJ. I feel like his character is just going to like walk away and be like, I'm done with all of you at some point because <laughs> um, he can't catch a break. And then um, April 5th, which is after our next episode, is my birthday, and we're going to do a charity uh, fundraiser, have friends drop in and out, talk about video game thirst, and raise money for Chicago Community Bond Fund. I will tweet that info out. Um, Eugenio is going to drop by. Uh, We got Matt to drop by. That is Mercer. And a few other friends are going to come and hang out and raise money, starting a $500 goal. And uh, I'll be streaming one of the 8 billion games that has come out this week <laughs> between <laughs> Elden Ring, Tokyo Ghostwire, right. Kirby just came out. What else came out? I the feel Tina like 20 game that everybody's talking about. What's oh, Tiny Tina. Tiny, yeah, Tina. Yeah, Tiny Tina. So, Tina's Tiny Wonderland. Tina though, we yeah. should play it on here because yeah. A it's crossplay and 
B, it's D and D adjacent. Right. Yeah, D &D. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's like Tina, a it's like a tabletop. I love Tina it. is running her group through basically D and D. It's hilarious. Okay. This is, no, you're absolutely right. This is also something that. Yeah, we should find. We should schedule. Yeah. I'm realizing yeah. like yes. chat. Like, yes. Yeah, we'll chat about this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that's actually pretty that's good, good idea. idea. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's crossplay. You don't have to be on the same platform. Right. That's nice. That's, that's key. Yeah, yeah. Um. But yeah, I'm doing a lot of stuff. April's going to be a weird month. I can't quite talk about it, but I've got a major announcement coming up. Hopefully soon in April. Yeah. Woo. Uh oh, that's me in it. Hi, I'm Latia. I'm the DM. You can find me on Twitter at Latia. Am I? I'm good. Okay. You can find me on Twitter at Latia Jaquise. Um, I just a book I co-authored just released. You should go get it. Um, uh, I have surprisingly little going on this week as well. But next Sunday at 4 p.m. Central, I will be. You can find me at uh my friendly local game store, Fair Game, uh in Downers Grove if you are Chicago local, where I will be doing a brief discussion about the book and a sighting. Hell yeah. Um, I will be uh, tweeting out some information. I will be tweeting out that information uh, later today because it was just finalized. But yeah, if you're local to the area and you picked up a copy of Nether Deep and you want to support my and your friendly local game store, come on out. Uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, so that's 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific um, next Sunday. Uh, so after arrival, so I'll have time to eat and all that fun stuff. But that is, I think that's really all I got going on. I went to Gary Khan yesterday. If I saw you there, awesome. I love you. Um, and I think that's it. So let's knock out these questions, uh, most of which are for Celise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so... No, I don't want any spoilers in these questions because we're at a very tense moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually, I actually, as much as I know people want to know this, I'm gonna leave the "What did you think?" and "What ran okay. through your mind" for next week because Mark. we'll answer that when we, after all these messages, we'll be back next right. week uh, <laughs> after seven days of messages. <laughs> yes, seven days of messages. it's not ten. So, it's not right. ten. But there is, that speaking of which, there's a great question for Gregory. Yeah. Hey, Gregory, why are you pushing for that shorter week? Fans got to know from Omnisex. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, Gregory sits in his house, which is, you know, modestly decorated. And he's like he's got the, the Pepe Silvia wall of calendars and like different versions of the of the calendar and like all the red tape. And he's just like, I don't. I just the week is so it's it's too orderly i can't deal with it like yeah sure the 10 day week puts 30 absolutely perfect days into a month and you just know what day is going to be what but it's just too neat i don't like it <laughs> Gregory like wants chaos, chaos. <laughs> 29 month day why do we have a 29 month day <laughs> is gregory our like campaign long bbeg is as gregory yeah. been masterminding all of this from the beginning <laughs> it was gregory all along I know. you, he, you he, see <laughs> you see other like sections of like red red lined uh graphs and things like that elsewhere in his walls but it's like the it's like a scry spell you can really only see that one right now and you don't know what the other ones say um <laughs> and then we have a, a question for Walter. uh does somebody want to ask that since i have to be Walter, unless masood wants to be Walter. yeah yeah ask it. <laughs> uh, did did you stand back because you weren't sure you could fight salise or because you knew you couldn't Yes, uh, yes, Walter. What's that answer? <laughs> <laughs> I think we all know the answer to this question. Uh, no, I, 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 why would I? She's a guest in the house. Why would I want to fight a guest in the house? But also, uh, have you seen the sword and the armor and the dog? Dogs hunt birds. And okay? the dog, he said. Dogs hunt birds. I am a bird. Yeah. yeah. All correct. I mean, so mm -hmm. I don't even know why you thought. Like, I don't know what you thought the answer to that question would be. I am just a bard. <laughs> a bird bard. A bird bard. A, bird bard. Mm -hmm. a barb. I love it. A barb. <laughs> barb. Uh, so yes, uh, I do very much hope that you can all hold on to your questions for Celise. 
for next week because it's gonna be a doozy. Um, I can't wait for Brian to see this episode. Oh my god, uh, right. he's gonna love it. He's gonna love it. I that's why I I so I saved the the meat of the matter for next for next week yeah, so that smart. Brian could be here for it. So. I feel like we're gonna one of us is gonna get a text message going what the entire. <laughs> <laughs> Our Slack's going to be flooded with Brian's just right? like, I am over here. All right. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us. We are absolutely thrilled to be here, to be partnered, and to be telling the story with all of you. Um, we are going to go ahead and rate Kelly, the opera geek. She is still fundraising for MS. Is that what she's fundraising for? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's Zyda and MS. Fantastic. Um, so, uh, everybody stick around, get your rivals raids ready, and we will see you all next week. Mm-hmm. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.